when we think about Dawa, when we think about Dawa and, and preaching Islam to, to people who are not Muslim, we, we, we always have to bear that in mind, what Allah says, again, in the beginning of the Quran, where Allah talks about the munafiqun, but this applies to, applies to the unbelievers in general. Allah says, فِقْلُوبِهِمْ مَرَدْ فِقْلُوبِهِمْ مَرَدْ right? in, in, in their hearts is an illness. It's, it's not, Allah never says, فِقْلُوبِهِمْ مَرَدْ Allah never says that in their intellects is disease, it's in their hearts is a disease. So if, 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 a, if a heart is corrupted, if a heart is corrupted and a heart is inclined towards something evil, it's inclined towards falsehood, it's inclined towards um, uh, these, these fake ideas, no, no logical argument is going to convince it. No logical argument is going to bring that, bring that mind back. And I did a podcast on this about a year ago or more, uh, talking about Surah Al-An'am, I, I, the sixth chapter, verse 33. Where Allah says to the Master of Law, Sallallahu we know that it grieves you. We know that it grieves you. But Allah says that, that, they, that they reject the faith, but, we, but they're not rejecting you. They're not rejecting you. And Imam Ibn al Jozi, uh, Rahimahullah, in his Tafsir Zal Masir of Ilmi Tafsir, he gives several narrations of how um, the, the unbelievers from the Quraysh, people like Abu Jahl, Abu Lahab, other people, especially Abu Jahl, in private would say amongst themselves, the Master of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi is speaking the truth, but we can't accept him because it would affect our trade. It would affect, it would, would not be fair. Uh, like one, there's one man who comes, there's one man who comes up with Jahl, Jahl and, said, and pulls him to the side and says, listen, no one can hear us. But tell me, this Muhammad, is he Kadib or Sadiq? Is he, is, is he telling the truth or is he, or is he lying? And Abu Jahl says, no, he's telling the truth. He's telling the truth. We, we, we know him. He never lies. He's telling the truth. But if we, because remember, the Prophet saw something, he, he, he's from the Benu Hashim, which is a, which is a branch within the Quraysh. And so he said, so, so uh, Abu Jahl says, if we, if we accept prophethood in the Benu Hashim, what about the rest of Quraysh? How's that fair? <laughs> right? We're back in the idea of Allah's justice again, aren't we? <laughs> right? But, there, but, but, but that's why Abu Jahl rejected it. And Abu Jahl himself, there's another narration that Imam Jose includes, where Abu Jahl himself says to the Master of Allah, so saw, Abu Jahl says this to him, he says, we're not rejecting you because we know you don't lie. We're just rejecting what you've, what you've come with. We're rejecting what you bring, what you've brought, because it affects our structures. It affects our economics. It affects the way we do things. So... It's not about it's not about convincing minds. It's about convincing hearts, and this is an important thing to bear in mind.